you guys will go to walk. Walk the walk, talk the talk. So we finally made it to the show. And now we're inside. The projector broke, but now the everything is good. I'll fix it, but I'm a handyman. That's what we do. <laughs> Maybelline is gonna be doing Hi. my makeup today. She's gonna be doing kind of a glowy skin and uh, burgundy eye, yeah. burgundy lips. Yeah. This is the final look that Sarah from Maybelline did for me. She did like a really beautiful burgundy smoky eye with gold on the inner lids and this gorgeous red lip. Yeah. All right, Jen, so another part of the prepping process for New York Fashion Week is uh, once you get all your outfits from the showrooms and put it all together, I just like to stack everything up on a nice rack. organized it yet but this would be one outfit with this dress with that jacket these are some pieces that I pulled from showrooms I pulled this from lie um, this is a vintage piece from designer revival is Givenchy and this is a top and skirt set so that's gonna be one look and this is a cute Ongaro blazer dress that I also got from Designer Revival. These are some really fun pieces that I got from Saksha Kinney. I'm excited to style it up. This is um, a shirt and a pant set, so this will be easy. I really love that. Looks very comfy and the fabric is super soft. And this is a long spaghetti strap flowy dress that I can pair with like a blazer or something. Opificio Modernis. It's an Italian brand and I just really love this dress. It has this um, pussy bow tie at the neck and this is a cute pencil skirt. Doesn't really fit my waist but maybe I could pair with a belt or something. And lightweight jacket from Lai. This is a denim from DL 1961. These are the jeans that I pulled from Lai. Um, that's my piece that's not getting worn anywhere. And yeah, I got a few jack jackets in here. This puffer is from Rootsack. This um, jacket that I've been wearing a lot actually is from And Other Stories. I really love it. And this cute little green um, quilted jacket is also from and other stories. <laughs> what's up, what's up? How are you doing? Hi. How's it going? Paul is here. Paul is here. <laughs> oh, this is my friend Paul, by the way. This is Savion. the show and now we're yes, inside we the projector broke but now the everything is good i'll fix it because i'm a handyman that's what we do i'm wearing lie collection What 
think it was really inspiring. The amazing deconstructed pieces, yeah. but wearable. I think it speaks to the modern woman. So I really loved your collection. What was the inspiration behind? Yeah, it's just based on like 1960s London. Talking okay, about like a rude boy, I got inspiration from them. Like the, I really like their styling, the color, the, the story of the rude boy. So yeah. They, from the Jamaica, uh -huh. and they, oh. they find themselves in the London. Yeah. And the deconstructed yeah. pieces. Exactly. Was... So I wanna, I really focus on the like make some sculpture and then the, you know silhouette. Yeah. What you did with the shoulders was oh, yeah, amazing. Two shoulders. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it was awesome. So right. thank you. Thank you very much. Right. We're off to another show. Hopefully we can make it and we'll see you guys there. You gotta, you know, I'm not the only one who's allowed to photograph this lady over here. So part of the job, you gotta take your pictures taken, uh -huh. which is fun, and try not to walk into other people's taking try, their pictures. And try to look decent. And try to look decent while doing it. Yeah, it's it's like not that easy. Not as easy as it sounds. No, it's not. I'm gonna shoot some more probably. We're gonna shoot this look. What else is near, eh? Yeah. Um, so it'll be fun, and we're gonna hopefully grab some food to eat. Hopefully grab some food, but this yeah. look is worth shooting. Bye bye. Are you guys taking this look, by the way. Let me know in the comments. If you like the look, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you don't like the look, Dialing. keep it to yourself. Yeah. Just a quick look. It's cold outside, so <laughs> probably crazy. not the best. And but yeah, we shot this look at this beautiful location here in Phi Dai. Gorgeous steps. Now I'm freezing and I'm ready to go home and chill out for a little bit. See you on the next one.
best part of leaving the New York Fashion Week madness is coming home to this guy. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Hi. All right, so I got changed. I went home, changed, and I am wearing a black blazer dress, and I decided to put on sneakers. A little, uh, little sneak peek oh. interview. Oh. What's going on? Woo <laughs> you gotta do the handle. You gotta do Michelle. Oh, I'm Michelle Allegra on IG. Oh, oh, this is a thing. Our favorite thing about New York Fashion Week. Yes. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something. Be I my something. lady. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's my that. favorite part too. So, yeah, we're trying to do YouTube, girl. Yeah, YouTube <laughs> is the move. We're going to a bar and we're gonna party it up and celebrate because it's Friday night. Still on day one, day two, two day two. It's yeah. Friday. Or is it day three? <laughs> okay, we need to get our stories together. It's Friday night. Yeah. We just grab a drink with some friends. Uh huh. Now we're heading to uh, an event with another friend. Yeah, it's not an event. It's an after party. Not it goes off to the party. <laughs> Exactly, so this is actually an after party for one of the designers we saw earlier at the Concept Korea store. Mm -hmm. They were kind enough to invite us, so uh, yeah, it's Friday, right? East, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm butchering the name, but yeah, it's, uh, it's I I C. So I C, maybe? I I C E. Maybe I C. What do you think about I C? I C E or I I S E? I I S E A. Babe, you're. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I I S E A. I swear to God. It's not S E A. It's S E. Okay. Stay tuned, we're gonna figure this one out. Yeah. Uh, it's I I S E, that's it. Final. Alright, alright, final, yeah. final. Lock it in? Knows how to navigate for Usually once. Bad with directions, but I got this one. She got this yeah. one, yeah. I think it's gonna be on that side actually. Yeah, what's happening? And this is supposed to be the party. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, babe, we are at the wrong place. It is. 426 Lafayette Street. 428 Lafayette yeah. Street. Shit, we came to the wrong address. Oops. Hopefully it's nearby. definitely did not disappoint. It's a good way to start the day. So yes, I am going to be shooting um, with a few girls later after this and then I have a few other shows. So yeah, stay tuned. Raise your ass off. <laughs>
says, what's your favorite thing about Fashion Week? Um, I think my favorite thing is just being able to see everyone, seeing you, and yeah. wearing a lot of color and feeling like I can own this. Yeah. <laughs> and not just the usual black and white that we usually wear in New York. Yeah. And Trisha's style is freaking amazing. Look at this gorgeous yellow ensemble <laughs> that she put together for Pretty, um, what's your Instagram handle by the Pretty underscore S, K R I T Y underscore S. I would love to ask you what is your favorite thing about that? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Um, Why? Favorite thing about Fashion Week is just seeing all the color. I love wearing color all yeah. year round, but it seems like in New York, people only bring out the color during Fashion Week. Uh -huh. So I love seeing the streets all colorful. Yeah. So we just did this vlogger shoot, so we're all wearing. Yeah. Color, as you can see, pretty has this beautiful baby blue outfit down to the shoe. <laughs> photographer of the century, Dapper Doug, right here, and model, photographer, model, poet. poet. He does all of it. What's your favorite thing about New York Fashion Week? You. Really? Yeah, I love seeing you. Stop lying. <laughs> I said, where's the Ah, oh, thank you, Doug. This photo shoot might be over, Should but do photo shoots ever really end? Let's find out. Honey, 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 honey. Yes, Sabrina, I'm trying to do YouTube. <laughs> Um, my I, scrubby workout. <laughs> I would ask you what's your favorite thing about Fashion Week, but I'm just gonna guess your answer is gonna be not going to Fashion Week. It would be um, watching you girls kill it in your outfits. Yes, look at these fashionable darlings over here. Yeah, I'm wanting to go to Fashion Week. Today. <laughs> it's um, leggings. <laughs> But she's saying super fit and she has a workout class coming up. You're waiting for your workout class. Oh no, I'm done sweating. Oh, you're done. I'm gross right okay. now. But she's a she does dancing and she does her workouts and she skips fashion week. So self-care, you guys, very important. Yeah, but I just wanted to uh, do a little takeover and give you guys a little behind the scenes of what it looks like. I'm, I'm um, trying to post right now. Sorry. Don't think I'm being rude, I'm not being rude, I'm just trying to She's pass. not at all, not at all, she's not being rude, she's just posting some stories right now because you know what, the stories gotta go up, right? Yeah. They gotta go up, they gotta go up and there's not enough time to do it all, so a little multitasking never hurt anybody. Um, it's hurting me right now. It's hurting the feet back there, but little multitasking does not hurt at all. So Opal's doing stories, and yeah, as you can see, that's the life of a fashion blogger right here. Life over there, a little Instagrammer, walking and posting and talking at the same damn time. Uh, to Rebecca Minko. Yes, we're going to Rebecca Minko presentation at Pier 59. She's all the way on the west side, uh, right by the water. It's a great location, but it does get a bit windy. Very windy. Very windy. All right. Uh, so we'll let Opal finish her posting before we get there. But yeah, it's supposed to be a presentation. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully, they have some cool stuff. And yeah, see you guys inside. Tidio. Shirio. If I were to choose an MVP, Maxim is a real MVP over here because he's been like helping me out a lot and like, you know, keeping me on schedule, although I'm never on schedule and helping me out with a lot of other back-end things so thank you babe really appreciate you're it you're welcome you're welcome that's so nice and you know what not being on schedule is part of the schedule it's, there's a reason they say fashionably late all those fashion people just like we were saying once you get to pier 59 which last season we stayed away from it that was one of the reasons the winter time new york even though it's been a pretty mild winter we only got like one let her keep posting stories. But anytime you're close to the water, that's a dirty little secret. So if you're in Five Eye, if you're downtown New York, if you're east side, west side, I'll show you a view of what it looks like in one second. There you go. Beautiful. Chelsea Pierce. Having a hat and a warm jacket yeah. helps well, for yeah, sure. This jacket's really warm actually. This jacket is um, wood sack. 
love this Canadian brand. If anyone does cold weather outerwear, I think it definitely has to be a Canadian Trust brand. the Canadians, yes. right? Yes. Canada yes. Goose? Really good job. That's yeah, another exactly. one. That's another one. Yeah. And this is what happens now. Huh? Got the post for the camera for the body first, you know? That's their job. to leave this place for about 40 minutes now. <laughs> so I have my lovely girl Gail right here. Gail, I have a question for you, boo. What? What's your favorite part about Fashion Week? My favorite part about Fashion Week is seeing like my girl oh, my <laughs> and the, all the color, the fashion. Everything's just amazing. Yeah, and yeah. I just get to hang out. Yeah. And not think about anything but fashion. Yeah. You got it folks. That's the part that everyone's saying is their favorite. Like seeing people and reuniting yeah. and like, you know, reconnecting with people. So. And it feels so good. What are you doing? Laura. 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 Um, I just am adding a little bit of contour. Um, so I'm just adding a little highlight now just to enhance her cheekbones. And that's pretty much it. She's already got great makeup on. So we're just touching up. So I'm with my gal, Sarah, over here. Um, do you want to tell us about your Instagram, where they can find you? Yeah. Sarah, uh, I'm at Shopware Repeat and I blog about fashion, lifestyle, beauty. Uh, I'm actually French Italian. I moved to New York three years ago and I'm loving it. Yeah, can you tell how fashionable she is? Like, gorgeous as always. But I have a question for you. What is your favorite thing about Fashion Week? Oh, that's a good one. So, I all of the events and yeah. like making new connections, like new connections yeah. either with like brands or bloggers or yeah just like meeting so many like-minded people yeah. and we all come together at fashion week twice a year and it's like so fun exactly. and it's like hard work like i'm yeah. sure you know yeah, but yeah. It's, it's the best like, yeah i wouldn't want it any other way and you know what
what's funny, literally I'm asking people this question and everyone is saying the same thing. Oh my God. Literally, no. I don't, I don't, no, 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 it's a good thing because like it really shows that it's all about the, the people at the end of the day. So there would be no fashion week without us. So that's why I'm like loving that everyone has the same answer. It's really the people that makes the New York Fashion Week so special. What do we have in the plate here? We have enchiladas suizas. Perfecto. Ale? Enchiladas. 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 